Here are the top 10 plays from the New York Subliners Home Series, presented by USAA Insurance. To kick things off, the Subliners try to claw their way back into the series against Optic Chicago, but the Ginger Ninja had a sneaky trick up his sleeve. Now NYSL, they're gonna try and get active on formal, and they do just that to force a 3v3. His dash is coming on up. He's gonna get caught into a two-on-two. -two. His envoy flies on out. Hydra cleans one up down to a one versus one. Scum. Hydra. Scump is on it. Hydra not going to be there in time. The fuse comes through. Five in a row now for Optic. Next up, with Minnesota Rocker looking set for defeat, they needed someone to step up and take the reins. Standy pulled off a ridiculous clutch to give Rocker a fighting chance. It's a clutch scenario, and Joe, uh, of course it's Standy. Of course it is. Yeah, what is this? The fourth fourth round already? Fifth, Somewhere not fourth, one's fifth, already won. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's been in so many of these spots, but 20 seconds ago, let's see if he can get it done. The first gunfight goes his way. The second shout's gonna come, the re-snap, and Standy takes it. Unfortunately, you're still on a 5-2 hole because the only two rounds you have won have been Standy clutches. Celium showed off some stellar shots as Atlanta Phase plowed through Paris Legion in one of the fastest series the CDL has ever seen. <laughs> And Sarian finds it uh, eventually. I was just waiting for it to come through. Well, Sin found the opening map. This is a, a two versus four. Bears made the adjustments, got the first blood. Zappy is making big kills, but he's going to have to find a couple more. He gets given a gift, though, towards the middle of the map. And just like that, Selim, last one alive, 10 seconds left. Sees him through the oh! card. Hey, go! Child, just hide! Oh! Do anything other than that! Next, Legion were in the firing line once again, but this time it was Skump dealing the damage. The King clutched up for the green wall to send the map to a round 11. Temp lying in wait. Dashy, will he walk into it? Yes, he will. 2v2. And it could all come down to Envoy. It, oh boy, Scraps is there. The trade comes through. But it's the King who lands the shot. The second player up was Temp and Skump nails it. Oh, baby, we have got ourselves a round 11. The cycle continues to be broken. Draza showcased his search and destroy prowess to give LA Thieves a head start in the second map of the series. Always check your flanks. Hoping to get that bomb down somewhat shortly. Slasher for top PD. Again, everybody getting tagged up with bullets, but no one yet to drop. However, that quickly is about to change up as Draza finding himself on the flank. Nobody watching the backside as that's going to be three in a row for him. The fourth put in the dirt. With the mutineers needing only one map to secure the series, the young phenom Skies took over to guide them in the right direction. When you get to your power position, you have your teammates in front of you, you know where the enemy is coming from. When you have talent like Skies, you get a lot of kills. So he's gotten five since this point pop. And that's why I, I, I also like him just rotating off it early. Just get him to his spot. Let him beam. Oh, 100%. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, worst case scenario, you have Awakening looking over him. So now we get into a spot where we have this position. And while Skies, he's got a streak, and now he's going to use this artillery. Yeah, that's just, I mean, he doesn't die there. He gets six kills. The artillery hits. After some time away from the competitive scene, John has returned. And this cool, calm, and collected kill spree proved that this former world champ has still got it. Here's Johnny. And boy, is he off to a wonderful beginning. As we said, the Ravens just struggling to even get out of their spawn right now. A few players coming in from Vents, and I'm sure that John is going to get that call out, and we'll see if he can maybe even earn some streaks in our initial phase. How great could those be? Madraza there to steal him away. Alex, now the sixth player in a row. Can it be seven to start off for John? You bet it is. That's going to be the artillery cruise, maybe coming soon, but you could not ask for a better start <laughs> for the thieves as that's going to be nine <laughs> in a row, ending round number one with an exclamation point. Pre-Star put in a dominant display against LA Gorillas. Rocker Superstar ran rampant in map three as he single-handedly took over the game. Putting themselves in positions to trade, great spot there for Priest as he can just not be taken down, literally. Called the flex for this team, and for good reason. Oh my. Craig or 74U, it does not matter. Now six, make it seven. There's some streaks. And well, also, this one does not look good for LAG in round number two. Round number three could spell disaster, as they've got, what, an artillery barrage to deal with and maybe even a cruise missile as well. There it is, two to zero to start for Minnesota. And like we mentioned, they have got some streaks to work with throughout the remainder of the game.
With his back against the wall, the sneaky Scotsman Shawnee made a mockery of Nate Shot's men to give his side first blood in the search and destroy. Now it's all left up to Shawnee in a 1v3. Good luck to Shawnee. They would have dropped John to start off, but again, the SMGs inside of wood just causing havoc. Shawnee makes his way where they hope that he will and just not spotting anybody for the time, looking through the street, looking toward Tom Granny's, nothing being spotted for the moment. Then the initial engagement, tosses out the nade, bait and switch, Kenny does get found out, and now fire does get laid upon Slasher, and how about Shawnee? A wonderful start to this round, a 1v3, and that is leadership. Yes, he's back again. Shawnee went on a raid rampage against the thieves. The game started to run away from the Ravens, but the Super Scots spearheaded their comeback in a tightly contested hard point. Shawnee still trying to harness these streaks. That'll at least be one. How about Ooh. the second eight in a row for Shawnee? Three HP, but he is still alive, still floating, and makes it nine for good measure. Shawnee. Somebody give him bullets. <laughs> he's got to get some bullets. Oh, he's going to actually use all of them to take down John as well. <laughs> you just have to slow down this pressure. The streak is going to get called in. Shawnee from the backside trying to do double the work. Nate, I mean, the artillery is going to come in, but nothing's going to connect. He's able to take down one as Alex does find the second. But eventually the pinch is going to be set up and such a beautiful break right there from the Ravens to keep him in this game. 35 seconds left. They can tie it up here. Shawnee's streak now is extended to 13. 13. Staying alive. And as we said, utilizing that streak to perfection. And now he can find himself two more. Thank you to 14. Can the 15 be found? No, just a little bit short. Check out these videos for more Call of Duty content.